A reminder to all those in the CS Nation to stay hydrated. Anyway, good day everyone, it's your boy, Jordan CS No here, and welcome back to another cringy ass video on the dark web. And today's video is about Harmon Smith again. Look, I promise eventually I'll cover something that isn't Harmon Smith, but that man has so many bad takes that I just keep discovering and keep wanting to cover on this channel. And today is no exception, because we've got kind of the OG Harmon Smith video. Like, it's from a while ago, about two years ago, and it's him talking about PC gaming. And obviously, in typical Harmon Smith fashion, he doesn't really make any good points, which is kind of why we're talking about it. So the video we're going to be looking at is titled, PC gaming is inferior to Nintendo Switch. You know, there's not really much mystery as to what this video is going to entail, so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I am not playing my gaming PC uh, because it simply isn't as good as my Nintendo consoles. Harmon Smith doesn't sound like a soy boy? What the fuck happened? Like, this video is two years ago. What the fuck happened that all of a sudden, Harmon Smith began to sound like a soy boy? I really have to know. Uh, please understand that, like, you know, I have a high-end PC, I can play everything, you know, I was running the most technical, demanding games on, on Steam with no problems. I doubt that. I heavily doubt that, because if you had a high-end PC, with all the games, you could run all the games, all this stuff. You wouldn't go back to Nintendo Switch, okay? There's no fucking way. You would have your Nintendo Switch, but you wouldn't go back to primarily gaming on that. Because this is the thing when console fanboys try to review PC gaming. They buy like an $800 PC or laptop or some shit, and they think that, you know, from that they have the whole PC gaming experience. But let me just tell you that if you genuinely put in the time to build a good desktop, okay, like one grand, two grand, something like that, all right, you will never go back to console gaming, okay? I was messing around with it. I, I spent several days experiencing it. I'm picking up games from my wishlist, you know, things like that. It's not as good as console gaming. Like, it, it just isn't. Um, really, I want to get right down to it. Um, of course, I got a very expensive PC. That's very, very powerful. Um, of course, I had a good gaming PC. Of course, I always had it. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it becomes less and less convincing the more he says it. Like, setting it up just meant that, like, I took my Xbox controller and, uh, figured out how to plug it in. That's really all I did. That was your entire setup process for the PC. Okay, I guarantee you he bought a fucking laptop. Right, gaming PC. Not as good as they like to say. Um, the selection of games is awful. It's all the same stuff that's on Xbox One. Well, yeah, no shit. Most games are multi-platform. Of course, it's a lot of the same shit that's on Xbox One. What were you genuinely expecting? I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some good games on PC that aren't on other platforms, but most games are multi-platform. Uh, pfft, the Xbox One is more accessible, uh, it has more, pfft, you know, connects to the TV. Uh, yeah, so the Xbox One is pfft, more accessible and, uh, pfft, connects to the TV. Why is he doing that? Genuinely. Things like that, uh, more memory for games. Yeah, this guy bought a laptop. I do not buy for a second that he bought a gaming PC. If your PC had less storage than your Xbox, that literally means you had less than a terabyte on your PC. Um, and I think that's the big thing for me that really puts the Xbox One over PC for me is that like it comes out of the box with more memory. Um, Tekken 7 alone takes like what, like 70 gigs, right? And uh, I, I was already overloading my PC with programs of stuff that I need for work and stuff like that, you know, which is why I, which is why I have it, you know what I mean? Like 70 GBs of fucking Tekken 7. Okay, if storage is an issue for you on PC, even on a laptop, you can always buy extra storage, all right? Like it's the same with Xbox. If you don't have enough storage on that, you can buy extra storage. But what did you buy or what did you build that you had less storage than a fucking Xbox One, which comes with, I think at most, 
one terabyte of storage. Like, that's my question. Uh, really, at this point, like, the only benefit I see to PC gaming, I don't have to pay for Xbox Live. So, that's, that's, that's a good thing. I don't have to give Microsoft money. Uh, I'm not giving them money for Game Pass either. That, that's, that's a scam for another reason. Oh, uh, uh, no, he's one of them. Xbox Game Pass is going to die because every third party is going, they're going to do with the, take the, uh, the uh, TV channel subscription route and just start their own subscription service, so. Wow, this aged poorly. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I can't even talk about PC gaming without bringing up the Xbox One because they're basically the same thing. Well, no, they really aren't. Look, as someone who came from Xbox, let me just tell you that the Xbox is nowhere near as good as the experience you'll get from a good gaming PC, okay? But the key word here is good, you know, not some $800 laptop that you fucking bought. Like, there's no benefit to PC, like, despite what you may have been told, like, the mods? Paid mods. Paid mods? Like, you've gotta pay for mods, and you think that's better than PC, where modding is free. And there's probably a greater variety of mods, let's just be real here. But, okay, I, I guess paying for mods is better. Amazing how um, people to this day rail on like the Wii and like the NES for shovelware while not talking about Steam featuring games like, keep in mind I just opened the page, featuring games like uh, No Man's Sky, Monster Train, uh, NBA 2K, uh, this is the sales, uh, this, is, this is the sales shit, like a bunch of shit that nobody cares about, like Human Fall Flight, Flat, Channel Byleight, like, uh, this is the sales, but you actually look at me on the future page, you might want to cross I wonder if he realizes that he mentioned games that are actually quite popular and tried to say shit that no one cares about. How weak the Steam library is, and I do mean weak. Like, featured and recommended. Command & Conquer Remastered Collection. Oh, that's what they want to sell you. Um, remastered Collections, that's the first thing you see. Doom Eternal, that game that everyone has forgotten about. Do I even need to respond to this point? Listen, if you genuinely think that the Steam library is weak, then you haven't looked in the Steam library enough. Or well, you're just browsing on the front fucking page of it. Which, let's just face it, for Harmon Smith is probably all hentai games. A Blood Raid, I don't know what that is. Civ 6, Stardew Valley, I can get that on Switch. Workout 11 Aftermath, already played on Switch. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, uh, don't care about it. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, only on Switch. Elder Scrolls Online, uh, don't care about it. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, only on Switch. Shout out the Tomb Raider, only on Xbox. Okay, if you've already played it on Switch, you do know there's an option on Steam where you can mark a game that you've already played on another system so that Steam won't recommend it to you. Because I don't know if you would know this, but Steam don't have fucking ESP. They can't read your mind and tell you what games you've played on other platforms. PC gamers kind of rely on gamers, uh, console gamers, not knowing anything about PCs to sort of justify their whole elitist attitude, but yeah. Yeah, I really don't know what he's going on about here because it kind of seems like he also doesn't know anything about PC, but you know, whatever. I own a gaming PC and I can tell you, uh, consoles are superior. Well, I'd like to see that one because I am placing a bet that it's a fucking laptop. There's there's no getting around it. Um, you, you can brag all you want about how you can uh, supposedly emulate every single Nintendo game as soon as they come out, which isn't true, by the way. Uh, uh, you can, because you can take the files of the game and dump them on your PC, and if you have a working emulator on your PC, you can play it. You can play it as you would play it on a Nintendo Switch. So yes, you can emulate every single new Nintendo game. Uh, I don't even think they have N64 emulators up and running, so you can't even pirate, like, N64 emulators. Bro, imagine saying they don't have N64 emulators on PC. Bro, N64 emulators are fucking ancient technology on PC. That shit is ancient, right? N64 emulators are so fucking old, they predate the Old Testaments, alright? That shit was so old, it was written in the fucking Bible. Let alone a lot of Wii games. I've seen my friends emulate Wii games and have them work with the Wii controller on their computer. And they run better on their computer than they do on the fucking Wii. Shut the fuck up. Wii U games, Switch games, like really? I could name you at least 10 people I know who frequently emulate Switch games. Really? You're really trying to pretend that you can play Kid Icarus Uprising on a PC? Like, no. No, you can't. <laughs> Without spending even more money that you could easily have just spent on a console with the actual game and have a better experience with it. Like, you have to jump through so many hoops. I, I love how everyone who thinks they're an expert of PC shit 
always just ends up overcomplicating every single thing they try to talk about, like installing an operating system or emulating games. They're really simple when you get down to them, right? In order to uh, to steal your content, and I do think that's the main reason why um, people defend PC so vehemently is that like they can just pirate all the content. Oh, it's theft, guys. Emulation is piracy. Listen, there's a big difference between emulation and piracy. The only case in which emulation would be illegal is if you were to torrent your copies of Switch games. Whereas if you're just legally dumping your copy of the Switch game onto your computer, there's nothing illegal about that. That's perfectly legal. They can just pirate all the content their, uh, their piratey little hearts desire. Yar! Let's sail the seven seas, boys! Uh, and then complain about Nintendo not providing these games for free. Uh, no one's asking Nintendo to provide them for free. You know, you'd think that maybe, just maybe, less people would emulate Nintendo games if Nintendo made their games available to purchase on PC. On their hardware, I think this is this has contributed greatly to the mindset that, like, Nintendo Switch Online is not worth it, even though it's phenomenal. It has... Oh no, he's a fucking Nintendo Switch Online defender. Bro, most of the games on Nintendo Switch Online, I'm telling you, you can emulate so fucking easily. Lots of great games already, I've been playing several. Uh, I was playing Star Fox this morning, actually. Uh, was it this morning, or was it yesterday? Uh, a while back. Yeah, it was this morning. Damn, that's a cool story, but, you know, I kind of don't recall asking. It's definitely one of my goals uh, in the long run. It's sort of established Nintendo as being superior to PC gaming. Uh, spoiler, it's because they have better games. Better games that can also all be emulated on PC. Nice try. And also, why is his goal to establish Nintendo as better than PC? That should be Nintendo's goal. Why do you give a fuck? They're not paying you. Like, this is so funny that fanboys will work harder for these companies than probably these companies' own fucking employees. I mean, maybe if fanboys were actually intelligent, these companies would hire them. Uh, and uh, I, I do think in the long run that will be proven true, like Nintendo will just keep getting better and better and PC gaming will get worse and worse. It will become more restrictive, uh, more and more restrictive. Oh god, I love how poorly this aged. <laughs> you know, considering that all that's happened is that PC gaming has become more and more accessible. More and more subscription fees, more and more microtransactions. The more and more subscription fees. There's no subscription service on PC that's mandatory. Mainly because there's this great thing known as being able to play online for free. PC gamers are basically the, uh, the boomers, right, of the, of the gaming community. Like, they're so convinced, right, that their way is better. Like, they're better than you, and they're just not. Like, when you get down to it, um, they're just a bunch of nerds. Do I need to point out the irony of this motherfucker calling anybody else on the internet a nerd with his fucking Zelda t-shirt and that fucking wall of virginity in the background there? Bro, that's irony at its finest who have to pretend that they're better than you in order to feel better about themselves. That's, in the end, that's all the PC Master Race is. Well, guys, that video was convincing. I think, to conclude, I'm gonna sell my PC and um, I'm gonna play on Nintendo Switch because all hail Nintendo, they make the best games. Um, I'm also now going to wear a Mario hat in every single video and make videos about how Nintendo is the greatest. But anyway, boys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter, at JordanCSNo. Subscribe to the second channel, JordanCS2. And join the Discord server, The CS Nation. Links to all of those will be in the description. Member shoutouts here. You too can become a member of the Jordan CS Nation or the Jordan Sino Army, whatever I ended up calling it, by clicking the join button down below to help support terrible content like this. <laughs> Please don't send any hate over to Harmon Smith. It's really unneeded. But that's all for today. So until the next one, piss off.
Thank you.